an additional 15 minutes with translation. And that makes for speeding up a bit. So I'm going to ask our final presenter, Can, to present for a maximum of five minutes. And then I would invite you to give general comments. And if in the course of those general comments you do have a specific comment for Can, you're of course free to, to, to pose it. But nevertheless, in your general comments, I would like to ask for you to, to limit those comments to maybe one, maximum two minutes, given the translation restraints. So, without further ado, I would like to give the floor to Can for their presentation. Thank you. And I want to thank the panelists, which I really want to, but I was reminded to do so. Thank you very much for your presentations and your very many answers. Thank you. So, Can, please. Thank you very much. I am Srinivas Krishnaswamy, and I represent the Climate Action Network International. At the outset, CAN appreciates the efforts from parties to provide information at these workshops. We have found these workshop proceedings extremely useful. Straight on to our observations and our views on developing country mitigation actions. First and foremost, on the issue, key issue of effort sharing and gigaton gap. In Cannes' views, the lack of an effort sharing agreement is a major stumbling block to agreeing to a long-term global goal. We believe that discussion on such an agreement clearly needs to be inserted into the negotiation framework in 2011 and 2012, and importantly, be consistent with the equity and capability principles of the Convention. CAN recognizes that a number of developing countries have announced emission reduction actions, and some of the proposed uh, actions could result in greater awarded emissions than the uh, pledges, current pledges of many, uh, of, uh, many developed countries. So clearly, developed countries need to drastically increase their ambition for mitigation actions. But having said that, developing countries' NAMA, or the nationally appropriate mitigation actions, also play a very crucial role in addressing the gigaton gap. A number of developing countries have far higher potential to reduce their emission levels than what has been announced. We believe that a number of these actions can also address the key and crucial issue of development. Uh, for example, energy access, or access to modern energy which is clean. Public transportation is another issue. The list is exhaustive. However, ambition levels are tied to strong domestic action and support, and therefore can believes that the NAMAs need to make a very clear distinction between unsupported actions and supported actions. We also believe that the NAMA plans of developing countries should be integrated into a long-term, low-carbon development pathway. Now, what are the next steps? What needs to be done now? What needs to be done on a war footing? And what needs to be done in the next couple of years. Can ask for the establishment of a clear and a common guidelines for NAMAs. And more importantly, and importantly I would say, also come up with guidelines for defining what a business as usual scenario is, and computing or coming up with clear calculations or guidelines for calculating what a deviation from BAU could mean. We would also like parties to clarify the type and level of support needed to implement planned and additional action. It could be from, preparing, uh, from the preparation of the plans to capacity building uh, to support required for the actual implementation of the plans. And then that would be the first step. The second step then would be uh, to identify how the support will be delivered. We would also like parties, developing country uh, parties, to initiate the development of a long-term, low-carbon development strategy. And as a first step here again, to develop a common guidelines towards the development of a 
uh, low carbon development strategy. At another important work that we see uh, as the immediate next step would be to initiate a work program for the development of a registry and a robust MRV system to ensure both are operationalized at Durban, enabling recognition of early action and matching enhanced action with support. Can we also agree on a template for the registry uh, in Bonn? Last but not the least, we would also like a relevant and new technical papers uh, to be brought out, which includes some of the papers which parties have already asked for, and in addition to that, we would also like to include one more, which is assessment of pledges against remaining gap. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ken, for a very uh, concise presentation. That's very much appreciated. Now I'd like to invite...